Okay, so today I'm here with my sister Amy, and we decided that we wanted to do a weekly episode type thing, updating on our acne and our journey with the medicine that we're taking. We both have completely different skin types, and we're going to tell you a little bit about our skin types. Now, we'll just be updating each week and showing you our skin and seeing how everything's going, and yeah, so... We're going to go ahead and get started and Amy's going to tell you a little bit about her skin. So my main skin issue with acne has been cystic acne and actually right now I don't have any active breakouts but I do get really bad scarring, um, mostly purple scarring um, and then also I get whiteheads and blackheads, you know, all that nasty stuff but mostly cysts is definitely the problem and I um, was definitely concerned about uh, the scarring that it would cause. So I first began having acne in the 8th grade and it definitely wasn't cystic at all. It wasn't that big of a deal. Just tiny whiteheads and stuff. Basically, my freshman year of college, my first semester in college, um, my face freaked out. And I, my mom and I were talking about it. And I think we definitely relate it to stress and hormones and all that. But previous to that, it had been pretty bad, but not as bad and it has as it had gotten um so I like begged my mom to go to a dermatologist so we had I had been to the our regular doctor before and gotten topicals um like epiduo and finally I tried an antibiotic and that made my stomach hurt really bad so I got the referral to the dermatologist and my first appointment she just looked at my skin and was like okay you have two options you have Accutane and this other one that is more on the hormone side, it's not FDA approved to treat acne. So I had known about Accutane before and I was like, yes, I want Accutane. It'll get rid of it for good, hopefully. And so I am in my third week of Accutane and yeah, we'll be talking more about it. But um, as of now, I just have mild dryness and I've had breakouts. It hasn't been much of a difference or change, so... Okay, so as you can see, I have like a distinct difference between my like acne skin and like under my eyes, which is really weird. Normally people don't get acne under their eyes, but as you can see it's like baby butt under my eyes and then it's like this distinct line and then I have like acne like skin. So my skin is definitely different than Amy's. It's not necessarily cystic. I do get cysts along my jawline, but today... I found out that that it has to do with hormones and um, so yeah I get cysts around my jawline I sometimes get cysts around my lips which is like really annoying because it's painful um, and I hate the fact that I'm like touching my face right now but I have little red bumps all on my face like my cheek I have bangs right now but they're all on my forehead the other side of my cheek and you can see like scarring here from like bigger cysts and then I get it under my chin I know it's like beautiful view right now um, but I have it all over my chest and my back and so and I have big pores and oily skin and Amy she has oily skin but it's like a combination skin um, and I would say she is well not anymore because she's on Accutane this like dry butt but anyway okay so yeah so my skin I just have these little red bumps that I have not been able to get rid of and so yes I can wear makeup and it like I don't look as if I have acne but in the light it's like shines and it's like bumps everywhere and it's just so frustrating so that's my kind of skin very oily little bumps everywhere I get big cysts around like um, menstrual time and it's just frustrating I've had it for ever. So that's my skin. So I'm going to tell you a little about my acne history. I've done an acne video on here before. Um, but I've had acne since the fourth grade. It started on my forehead and it kind of moved down my face. It went onto my um, nose and cheek area. Like it was here for a while in fifth grade. Then in sixth grade it came down and went down my cheeks. And now it's kind of just been parting on my jawline and then I have little bumps everywhere and really oily skin. So I've been struggling with acne since I was in fourth grade, so that's about 10 years now, which is like, I thought it'd be gone by now. So I was really frustrated and I went to the doctors today and they prescribed me 
um, with a topical and an oral medication. Um, she said she gave me an antibiotic because of the acne on my chest and back. Um, so the first thing that I'm using is topical and it's called Evideo. This is just like a coupon. But then she just gave me some oil control moisturizers. Um, so I'm going to be putting Epiduo on my face and that's topical. Um, morning, actually, I don't know if she said morning or night. When I think I she used, said on my chest and back at night. When I used Epiduo, it was at, at night. Okay, at night. I think I'm just going to do it at night. But, um, and then I, and then she prescribed me a antibiotic for acne. And I think it's like, she said something that was like a long lasting dox, long lasting doxycycline, which is just, you know, an acne medicine. Um, and I'm kind of nervous because they're supposed to make your stomach hurt, but I don't know. I'm taking it at night, so hopefully I'll be asleep when that happens. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be trying that, and I mean, I'm going to give it a good try for about a month and a half, and Amy's going to be on her Accutane. And so, yeah, that's a little bit about my skin. So that was just a little bit about each of our different acne stories. Um, we hope that this can encourage you in some way because we know a lot of people on YouTube have encouraged us with their acne. We're not wearing any makeup right now and we just wanted to show um, what's going on with our skin and the, our journey that we're going to be going through with this medicine. Hopefully it'll work for us and hopefully, I mean, you can get some ideas on, I don't know. Yeah, Christy, Christy <laughs> came to me with this proposal I and I was there. like... Uh, I don't know, but I had thought about it just because I, before I started acting, I watched so many, like, diaries yeah. and vlogs on YouTube, and it was so, like, comforting knowing that people had gone through it, and, you know, they made it through, and it was so worth it in the end, so I'm really excited yeah. to uh, kind of document yeah, how this goes down. And I'm really hoping that it works, but, well, I know Accutane's gonna work for her because Accutane, like, works for everybody. Well... I mean, sometimes you have to take more than once, but like in the first place, or like well, some people have bad reactions to it. Like so far, it's been good. Like I've just had the common dry skin and lips thing. Yeah. So um, hopefully it'll continue. Like my blood test will be good, but we'll update you guys on that too. Yeah. Um. So pretty much, hopefully it's gonna work for her. I think it will because normally it does, and I don't really know about mine because I've never taken it before, and I don't know anyone who has. Um. But I'm hoping that it's gonna work for me too. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna probably film on Fridays, upload Saturdays, or is that what you Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's Whatever gonna be, works. like, either Friday or Saturday that it comes, and we'll do one once a week, kind of updating on our skin and how, like, breakouts or whatever, or if nothing's happened, or, I don't know. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is my sister Amy, if you don't know who that is, <laughs> and me, you know me. Anyway, so... We'll see you guys in the next video next week. See you Bye. later. Bye.